Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to discuss a very interesting problem, longest substring with at most k distinct characters. So in this tutorial, first we will understand the problem statement, then uh, we will discuss its approach and finally we will write its Java code. So let's start with the problem statement first. So in this problem, we have given a string and we have to find the length of the longest substring that contains at most or you can say no more than k distinct characters. So let's understand this problem through multiple examples. So in the first example, we have given this string and we have given the value of k, which is two. So let's form few substring that contains max two distinct characters. So uh, let me write first one as frff. And we only have in this substring, we only have two distinct characters. Similarly, we can form R, F, F. The next one we can form is F, F, C. And then C, D. So you can see out of all these substrings, the first one is the longest substring. So we return its length, which is four. Now let's move to the second example. In this example, we have given this string and the value of k is three. So we can use at max three distinct characters to form, form the longest substring. So uh, using this, let's say first substring we can form is p, m, m, e, m. So we have three distinct characters here. The next one is M M E M I. Then we can form M E M I, and then we can form E M I. So out of all these substrings, so these twos have equal length, which is five. So we return the length of the longest substring is five. Now let's move to the third example. And in this example, uh, given this string Java and the value of K is five. So in this uh, string, we only have four distinct characters and K is the max distinct character we can use to form the longest substring. So here we can only form this substring java and its length is four so we return four so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can solve this problem efficiently so the simplest approach or you can say the brute force approach is to generate all substring that contains no more than k distinct characters and out of which we can track the length of the longest substring and return its length. So the time complexity of this approach is O n square. If considering if we are using hash map to track its uh, length, length of the longest substring. So I mean, uh, the brute force approach is very straightforward and simple. Let's think of another approach through which we can solve this problem in linear time complexity. And we are going to discuss only the efficient uh, one. We can solve this problem efficiently using a sliding window. So the idea here is to take two pointers, a start and end. So let me take one pointer start and one pointer end. So in short form, I'm writing S for start, E for end. And initially both will point to the zeroth index, to the starting index of a string and let's keep start pointer so this pointer as it is and move end pointer till the size of unique character in this window is less than k so we are forming a window you can say a dynamic window in which the size of the unique character is less than or equal to k and for tracking unique characters uh, we need to take, I mean, we need to use additional data structure. 
and for this here i am using hash map and why i am using hash map you will understand shortly so if you are not familiar with hash map then in hash map we store key and value pair so in our case key will be the character and value will be its count so i am writing here key and value so key will be the character and value will be its count right so <clears throat> and also at each step we have to keep track of the maximum count so uh, let's see uh, how we can approach this problem so we have declared two pointer start and end and initially both will point at the zeroth index so we keep start pointer as it is and move the end pointer so and also let me declare a hash map so this is the hash map so here is the key and here is the value so the first one is f and it is not present in a hash map so let's take f and its count is one now the end pointer will move at this index and also the unique key present in a hash map is one which is less than the value of k its value is four now the value of uh, i mean this index is r i mean the character present at this index is r so r is also not present in the hash map so let's take r and update its value to one put its value to one then move so here we are moving the end pointer and keeping the start pointer as it is so the character present at this index is f so f is already present in a hash map so the key in a hash map is always unique so f is already present in a hash map take its previous value which is one and update its new value now its new value is two so still if we are checking the unique character in this hash map is two which is less than the value of k so the value of k is less than uh, sorry the value of k is here the value of k is 2 so it is less than or equal to k so uh, we can expand the size of our window so let's move the end pointer and here the value is f i mean the character is f which is already present in a hash map let's update its value now its value is 3 and the unique character count is 2 which is less than or equal to k so till now we formed this window and also at each step uh, we are tracking the max count max count is so let's say initially we have declared one variable and assign its value 0 and at each step uh, we are taking max of this max count comma the value of the end pointer so here the end pointer is 0 1 2 3 so 3 minus start pointer is at 0 plus 1 right so the value of m is 4 here and we are doing at each step so initially when it is 0 so max counter is the value of max count is 0 then when it moves to r so at that time we check 0 comma uh, let's say this one is 1 minus 0 plus 1 2 so similarly at each step we check uh, the maximum between the max count found so far and based on uh, the size of the sliding window right so till now we have found one substring right and its count is four so now in next iteration we pick this character c and when we put this character in this hash map and its value is one so this time when we checked the unique character present in the hash map is three which is greater than the value of k so it's violating the condition it's <clears throat> i mean in our problem statement we cannot 
form a substring whose value is i mean uh, the unique character count is greater than the value of k we can take only at most k distinct characters so now in this case what we do is we take the value present at the start pointer so the value present at the start pointer is f and we from the hash map we check uh, this character in a hash map and its count and we start decrementing i mean we have to remove these character from a from our window so that it satisfy uh, at most k unique character k distinct character so we take f and its value 3 and we update its value we have to decrement because we have found three instances of f so we cannot simply remove f from the hash map we have to decrement its count so start pointer remain as it is uh, sorry end pointer at this point and a start pointer we move here still the unique character count is 3 which is greater than k so we have to uh, repeat this step so the character present at this index is r so we take the value of r from the hash map which is 1 so we can simply remove uh, this character from the hash map because uh, the r is present uh, i mean we encounter the character r only once so let's remove this from this hash map and put this pointer here start and the, now this time if you are seeing uh, this condition is satisfied so we only have two unique character present in a hash map so s is pointing at this index and end is pointing at this index so till this index the instance of f is 2 and c is 1 and also for this window if we if you can see uh, the size of this window is 3 so when we comparing the max between let's say 4 and 3 so it is 4 so it remain as it is so it, now in next step so we have satisfied the value of k so in next step we move the k pointer uh, end pointer which is here and we put d and its value is 1 so again the unique character count is greater than 2 so we have to repeat this step we have to take its uh, take this character decrement its count and move the start pointer still it's greater than 2 so we have to take this character decrement its count so this time only one instance is left we can simply remove from the hash map and move the start pointer here so i mean considering all these things and once we iterate all the characters from a string we can return the max count which is 4 so let's see the code here so here i have declared a hash map hash map to store character and its count so key is character and in value we are storing count so the, it is of integer type and i have declared two variables here max count to keep track of the um, longest substring and start so basically forming a window a sliding window of dynamic size we need two pointers to start <clears throat> and end and initially both will point to uh, the zeroth index and now here is the uh, for loop where we start the end pointer with zero and it traverses the string and at, after each step we are incrementing its value so we are taking so so for each index uh, we take the character and 
in hash map we put character and its count so this is clear i mean it is character and here we are checking whether this character is already present in a hash map if it is present give me its previous count i'll add one to it else let's consider if it is not pr present so let's take the default value zero and then add one and this is the while loop so basically what it checks is it checks if in a hash map if the unique character count is greater than the value of k then we have to slide this pointer start pointer and also the character present at this index so when we are moving the start pointer first we are taking the character and we are checking if its value is one in a hash map it means if it encountered only once simply remove from the hash map else if it is greater than one we have to decrement its count because we have encountered its multiple instances and also keep incrementing the value of start and we keep repeating this step until its size is greater than unique character size is greater than k and at each step we are tracking the max count which i have explained here and it's we are taking the max between the max count and the window size basically n minus start plus one and once this iteration is complete we return the max count now let's talk about its time complexity time and space complexity so the time complexity will be o n so the outer for loop this for loop runs for all characters and the inner while loop so this loop process each character only once so if you see it will be o n plus n but we can write it as big o of n and its space complexity is o k so basically uh, we are storing k plus one value in a hash map and after that uh, i mean this while loop ensures that we don't have more than k characters in a k unique characters in a hash map so it's a space complexity is okay so that's it for this video tutorial and i hope you like this video tutorial please share this video tutorial with your friends and colleagues and subscribe our youtube channel so that whenever we upload a new uh, video you will get the notification and thank you for watching this video tutorial thank you